Penetrating concrete bunkers or underground facilities is no easy task for any modern military. As such, worldwide governments hide their most valuable secrets, such as their nuclear arsenals, below layers of soil, rock, and reinforced cement. Still, as tensions continue rising between the United States and countries like China, North Korea, Russia, and Iran, the U.S. Air Force has come up with the world's most powerful bunker buster bomb, the Massive Ordnance Penetrator, or MOP. The satellite-guided weapon weighs 30,000 pounds, carries over 5,300 pounds of high explosives, and can break through 200 feet of pure concrete. And with so much power, not even North Korea and China will be able to hide from its devastating effect. World War II Bunker Busters A bunker buster is a type of ammunition designed to penetrate objectives buried deep underground, such as secret nuclear facilities, military bunkers, or reinforced submarine pens. During the first years of World War II, the Luftwaffe experimented with different types of bombs that could be used to penetrate hardened targets, such as hostile forts and bunkers. German engineer August Kenders, who during the war worked for Kenders Rucklinger Eisen und Stahlwerke GmbH, designed the Ruckling shell, following the theory of increasing the sectional density to improve penetration. These bunker-busting artillery shells were made from chrome vanadium steel and could penetrate over four meters of reinforced concrete. Rickling shells saw limited use during the conflict. They were tested between 1942 and 1943 to pummel the Belgian structures of Fort de Batisse and Fort Dobin neuf Chateau, as well as the forts of Hanichka and de Brossov, among others. The United Kingdom also employed bunker busters during the war. The objective was to eliminate the submarine pens the Kriegsmarine had built across Europe to store the devastating U-boats that decimated Allied merchant convoys. These submarine pens were reinforced with layers of concrete that offered excellent protection against conventional bombs, leading British designer Barnes Wallace to develop earthquake or seismic bombs to destroy the German fortifications. While traditional bombs exploded at or near the surface, seismic bombs were designed to be dropped from higher altitudes to penetrate the surface and explode once underground. This led to practical explosions that created massive caverns with craters or camouflets. Some of these bombs were the Tall Boy and the Grand Slam, but the most powerful one was the 4,500-pound concrete piercing and rocket-assisted bomb, known as the Disney Bomb. Operation Desert Storm During Operation Desert Storm, NATO forces began looking for a deep penetration bomb similar to the Disney and Tallboy. Still, none were as effective. Soon, the U.S. and its allies came up with the Guided Bomb Unit 28, or GBU-28, which weighed over two tons and carried over 650 pounds of explosives. This bomb was successfully used for the remainder of the war and destroyed vital enemy objectives, including the Al-Taji Air Base, located about 15 miles from Baghdad. On that occasion, the American General Dynamics F-111 Aardvark dropped a GBU-28 that successfully penetrated the reinforced concrete structure before detonating and eliminating everyone inside. Besides the GBU-28, the U.S. Air Force also employed a less powerful bunker buster, the GBU-27B, to clear out other Iraqi facilities during the invasion. Air Force F-15 Strike Eagles and F-117 Nighthawks would generally drop some GBU-27B bombs to shake the underground structures before the F-111s arrived to destroy the facilities with the more powerful GBU-28. Given its success in clearing out reinforced concrete fortifications, the GBU-28 bomb was eventually acquired by Israel and North Korea. At the same time, the Air Force began working on more powerful versions. Massive Ordnance Penetrator In early 2002, Lockheed Martin and Northrop Grumman began a joint development program to develop a 30,000-pound bunker buster weapon, dubbed Big Blue. However, the project was momentarily halted due to a lack of funding. Then came the invasion of Iraq by the U.S. and the coalition forces, and the Army and Air Force realized that despite the overall effectiveness of the GBU-27 and 28 bombs, 
a more powerful bunker buster bomb was required. This led to a renewed interest in Lockheed and Grumman's project, and with support from the Air Force and the Defense Threat Reduction Agency, the two companies began working on the project again. The resulting bunker buster was codenamed GBU-57, and was quickly nicknamed Massive Ordnance Penetrator, or MOP. The MOP was developed at the Air Force Research Laboratory Munitions Directorate at Edwin Air Force Base in Florida, and the first test took place at the White Sands Missile Range in New Mexico in March of 2007. The test was carried out by Boeing, and according to the U.S. Air Force, the bomb can only be deployed by the B-2 Spirit and the B-52 Stratofortress. The MOP has an approximate length of 20 feet, a diameter of 31 inches, and an overall weight of 30,000 pounds. In addition, it carries over 5,300 pounds of high explosives and has a penetration of about 200 feet. It is also satellite-guided to maximize accuracy. From 2011 to 2017, development and further testing were accelerated as tensions with North Korea rose. And it was also exacerbated by the U.S. concern about the mounting capability to build and deploy nuclear weapons in countries like Iran and North Korea. Testing the GBU-57 In October of 2017, B-2 Spirit bombers were spotted in Missouri, practicing exercises that involved targeting a VIP command post or leadership relocation sites. Some believe the bombers were practicing with MOPs and were trying to simulate a retaliatory attack against North Korea. The fake scenario involved eliminating Kim Jong-un and the country's leadership. In May of 2019, the U.S. Air Force released an impressive video showing a B-2 Spirit bomber dropping two GBU-57 massive ordnance penetrator bombs as tensions with Iran rose because of its potential use of nuclear weapons. The video was shared while the U.S. was sending soldiers, aircraft, and ships to the Gulf, perhaps as a deterrent to what may happen if Iran continues with its nuclear plans. The slow-motion footage begins with the B-2 flying across the sky. Two massive GBU-57 bombs are then slowly released, one after the other. Seconds later, one of the bombs reaches a ground target. The mop bomb swiftly penetrates the ground to its tail, and then a furious explosion comes to life, forming a giant crater full of smoke, fire, and soil. The other bomb then penetrates the ground target and bursts into a secondary explosion that displays the accuracy, velocity, and power of the new American bunker buster. The B-2 can carry two mops and has excellent long-range penetration capabilities to deliver any payload. Several analysts have expressed their admiration for such a powerful combo, as the MOP and its state-of-the-art guidance system can become a severe threat to any fortified bunker on Earth, coupled with its ability to sneak deep into hostile territory without being noticed. Not even North Korea and China, with their thousands of underground tunnels, can escape the sheer lethality of a GBU-57 massive ordnance penetrator in action. The Next Generation Penetrator In June of 2010, U.S. Air Force Lieutenant General Philip M. Breedlove announced that the Air Force was already working on the next-generation penetrator bomb. The lieutenant also explained that this next-generation bomb would be a third of the size of the MOP, so that it could be carried by more affordable aircraft, especially fighters. It is to be called the Next Generation Penetrator, or NGP, and it will be an integral part of the Next Generation Bomber Program, intended to replace the B-52 Stratofortress and the B-1 Lancer from the aging Air Force bomber fleet. In 2015, Northrop Grumman was awarded a contract to develop the new model, but no further details have been revealed. Thank you for watching our video. Please like and subscribe to our Dark Documentaries channels to find more exciting historical content. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified of our newest videos. Stay tuned.